Hi, right, great. Uh, this is going to be the lesson on uh, performing uh, effect size analyses. We're going to specifically focus on the Cohen's D effect size and the uh, partial eta squared effect size. So we have a data set here uh, with just three columns. We have participant ID, um, some condition called discuss condition, and something called conservative attitudes. Uh, imagine that in the study, uh, individuals are brought into the lab and they are asked uh, to smell something. Uh, some individuals smell something that has absolutely no scent. Some individuals smell something that is kind of floral, smells nice. While other individuals smell something that, that smells very, very bad, like rotten food. If we go to variable view, um, we can see that a disgust condition is something called manipulated disgust. That's our independent variable. If we click on values, we can see that a negative one is the pleasant kind of floral smell. The zero is the control, uh, no disgust, and the uh, one is the high disgust. That's smelling something really nasty. And then our dependent variable is conservative attitudes. Do people have more conservative attitudes um, after smelling, after being disgusted? Perhaps the hypothesis is that they do. So we'll start off with a Cohen's D analysis. Cohen's D uh, effect size is used when you are comparing two groups. So let's say we want to perform uh, an independent sample t-test comparing um, the, uh, the uh, control group, zero, and the disgust group, one. Uh, so this is ignoring the negative one, the floral condition. If we hit OK, uh, and then we move a conservative attitude over here, we'll run our independent sample t-test. We'll hit OK, and we'll find um, that, in fact, uh, the groups do do differ. Uh, this is a significant difference. It's a T value of negative uh, 3.782 with 10 degrees of freedom, and it's significant well below the 0 0.05. Now, if we look at our means, uh, we can, uh, we'll use this for um, determining our Cohen's D. What we'll need to do is we will go to uh, uh, an internet browser, and we will go to um, the following address, www.uccs.edu backslash uh, tilde faculty slash becker uh, slash. And it'll bring us to this website, which is an effect size calculator. This is a, a really good uh, uh, calculator. It allows you to calculate Cohen's D in a number of ways. We're going to see here we have group 1 mean and standard deviation and group 2 mean and standard deviation. So what we're going to do is we're going to start inputting these numbers. Um, the first mean, it doesn't matter which group is which, we have a mean of 4 with a standard deviation of 1.41. So we'll put in 4 and 1.41, and then for group 2, uh, it's a 6.83 and 1.17, uh, so 6.83 and uh, 1.17. Uh, and if we hit compute, um, we will get our Cohen's D down here, this uh, negative 2.1. Um, according to Cohen, uh, 0 .2, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 is a small effect, 0.5 is a moderate effect, 0.8 is a large effect, so an effect of 2.1 or negative 2.1 uh, would be huge. Uh, ignore the positive and negative, it, we take the absolute value. So this would be a very large effect. Um, and that's perhaps not surprising given uh, how big the means are and, and uh, the difference between the means and this, the relative small standard deviation. Now let's say we wanted to calculate uh, partial eta squared, uh, which is the effect size over uh, a number of variables, or a number of different levels, not just two. Um, if we go back to our data, we can go to Analyze, General Linear Model, and Univariate. Uh, now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, we only have one variable, one independent variable to discuss. Why are we running a univariate analysis? Um, why don't we just run a one-way ANOVA? Well, one-way ANOVA doesn't give us any options to calculate effect size, so we have to do a univariate analysis. And univariate analysis can be used for one-way ANOVAs. You can even use it for t-tests. All univariate means is that you have one dependent variable. So the fact that we tend to use uh, the you know, independent sample t-test option when we do t-tests and the one-way between subjects and ova option when we do one-way between subjects and ova doesn't mean we couldn't do them in univariate. So we're going to move manipulated discuss into fixed factors and conservative attitudes into the dependent variable. And all we're going to do now is we're going to click on options. Uh, and we're going to click on estimates of effect size. We can also click on descriptive statistics if we want, uh, so we can find the means and standard deviations for those groups. We can hit OK, and then OK again. We can see these are between series factors. Uh, there's six people in each group. 
here are the descriptive statistics. So it looks like there's a, a difference between the three groups. We can go over to our uh, between subjects effect test and see that the F is 5.9 with a significance of 0 0.013, meaning that this is a, there is a significant difference among all of the groups. We would write this as F uh, 2 comma 15 equals 5.903 comma p equals 0 0.013. Uh, the partial a to squared, however, uh, is 0 0.44. This would be a very large effect, um, uh, and, uh, and this is how we get our partial a to squared, um, which can be read and written as, um, as the a to symbol squared equals 0 0.440. Uh, and that is how you calculate Cohen's d and partial a to squared in SPSS.